Hello, and welcome to the Orcs Hero Spotlight. First one up on the Orcs lineup, we have Weird Boy, Zabnagan, or Zabnagan, Zabnagan, Zipnagan. He takes three elite points to summon. He's considered a nuker and a support. He's a ranged infantry spellcaster with dual natured abilities that support allies and deal powerful AoE damage. Starting off, we have his Q ability called Scrap Blast. Zabnagan fires scrap shards in a target direction. Grant shields and does AoE damage in a cone shape. Each charge of scrap shield increases the range of the blast. W. Here we go. Teleports to the target position. Cause damage over time in a circle. And upon completion, he teleports allies at his original location to the target location. E. Fist of Gork. Weird Boy consumes a charge of scrap shield to manifest the giant fist at the target position. Cause damage, stun, and immobilization in a circle. V keys for scrap shield, also a toggle button. It activates an auto loot nearby any scrap. In the case of Weird Boy, he loots scrap to generate shield scrap. Next up we have Big Mac Waz Mecca. <laughs> what? It takes four elite points to summon Waz Mecca. He is a ranged infantry unit that excels at supporting an orc army. Waz Mecca has a tractor beam that can pull enemies or allies to himself. He can call down scrap from orbit and temporarily turn scrap into turrets. First up we have his Q ability, Tractor Beam. Waz attaches a tractor beam to a target, grants a shield or damages and slows. Reactivating knocks back the target to Wazmaka. If scrap is targeted, Waz can jump to its position. W. Orbital Scrap. Wazmaka can call in junk from orbit. It generates scrap and causes damage in a circle. Moving on we have his E, Scrap Turrets. Wazmaka upgrades the five nearest piles of scrap into turrets that automatically engage targets. Turrets expire if the ability ends or if the scrap they are on is destroyed. Last but not least, his Z ability. He loots the scrap to generate orb scrap charges. Next up, War Boss Gurguts. He takes four elite points to summon. Gorguts is a melee infantry tank crowd control unit capable of withstanding considerable punishment. His unique power claw can be used to close the distance reduce the enemy damage, or absorb shots, protecting himself and allies. His first ability is Q, Grappling Claw. Gorguts fires his claw at a target location, pulling himself to the position or the first enemy that it intercepts, and forcing them to attack him. W, Spinning Claw. Gorguts extends his claw, spinning it around and absorbing enemy fire. Enemies inside the area take damage and are slowed. Gorguts can combo this ability with his Q, slamming down his claw, pulling, taunting and damaging enemies. This war boss has two passives. One, dirty fighting. In melee combat, Gorguts crushes opponents with his claw, doing damage and reduces their damage output. And critical strike. Every sixth blow triggers a critical strike, doing additional damage in the line. And let's not forget about his Z ability. He loots scrap to temporarily upgrade himself. If the spinning claw lasts for the full duration, he fires celebratory rockets which increase speed, damage, and heals in a circle. Next up, Madrid. Madrid? <laughs> Madrid. <laughs> he takes 7 elite points to summon. He's a tank, resilient melee walker, effective against groups of enemy infantry. The Madrid can burrow into the ground to surprise enemies and leave a temporary tunnel that allies can travel through. What makes him so unique is that when he dies, he gets a second chance to recover. His first ability, Q, Tunnel. Dig a tunnel between him and a target location. Allies can right click on either side and teleport to the opposite end. On arrival, he does damage and knock back in a circle. Mad Dread's passives consist of Loot, he can heal himself when walking over scrap. Rampage, instead of dying, he goes in a rampage, gaining a shield and generates fury for doing so. Reaching max fury heals him, and if the shield breaks, he dies. Cleave, he attacks in a cone area, and just like Gorguts, critical strike. Every six attack unleashes a devastating blow in a circle. Last but not least, Beauty de Morcanaut. This unit is a tank support, super heavy walker that excels at protecting itself and allies. Beauty can create a custom force field that absorbs shots in a large area. He can fire his claw and recall it, knocking back allies, and enemies to his position. Starting with Q, Custom Force Field. Creates a massive shield which also enables the Mega Blast ability, reducing his own shield to spawn smaller ones. W, Rocket Fist. Fires its fist at a target position, 
causes stun and damage in a circle. The fist can be recalled, which knocks back all units it passes through. E. Gretchen Repair Squad. For each charge it has, Beauty summons a squad of Gretchens to repair itself. These Gretchens can be given orders to do other tasks. Passives. Reinforcement point. Pretty much a walking building. And you can reinforce your squads. Yeah. That's, that's a thing. And last but not least, a Z ability. Looting scrap will generate Gretchen repair squads. And this concludes the Orcs Hero Spotlight. If you guys enjoyed this, hit that like button and or comment and let me know if I uh, should change something or, you know, other things, whatever you guys want. Um, I will be putting out a straw poll. Uh, it's going to be between Eldar and the Space Marines. And I'm planning on doing those next. So we'll see what comes out first. It all depends on your vote. Take it easy, guys. Thank you and goodbye.